Hi everyone. This is a video on all the altars in Vagante. So let's jump right in. This altar is a scholar. You can give him books and scrolls to gain favor, and he will pay out with spell books. Now, the rate at which he pays out, we don't quite know. We couldn't figure it out. But one thing we did figure out was if he drops a scroll, whether it is identified or not, it will always be an enchant scroll. Now, if you decide to break the scholar, he will say such ignorance, he'll get a book and no longer gain favor. Next up is the bloody. You can sacrifice 33 HP to get a stat point in either strength or dex. Now, when the text above the altar shows, show me your strength, a stat point goes into your strength. When it says, show me your skill, a stat point goes into your dex. Also, if you have less than 33 health, he will take you all the way down to one health, and then it'll be banked for the next time you use him. If destroyed, it will result in losing half of your HP, and you will not be able to use his ability anymore. When using death becomes easier to you, he will straight up kill you. Also, destroying him with one HP will also kill you. You can also take the girl to the bloody and sacrifice her for a stat point in strength, dex, intelligence, and luck. This altar is the light. It looks like a fountain and you can throw money in. 20 gold to be exact and it will give you anywhere from 1 to 20 HP. Now if you decide to break the light, once he busts open he will drop all of the gold that you put into him plus another 30. So if you didn't pay in, he'll still give you 30 gold. There are downsides. The screen will permanently get darker and your view distance will permanently get shorter. You can regain favor so you can heal again. To do so, you must pay back everything you stole when you killed him. And if you happen to find a tunic or chest piece that has the attribute coins seem to heal your injuries and you break the light, the amount of gold you can get back can heal a substantial amount. Okay, now onto the shackled. Now this guy can take your cursed items and turn them into god curses. He can also be used to discover if what you have is cursed. If you give him three uncursed scrolls, you will get a ring called Adherence. Ring of the Shackled. This ring can also be God Cursed as well. This ring's ability is to power you up with every cursed item you have equipped. Sadly, we discovered that it must not be implemented yet because we have done extensive research and no stats were affected. If the shackle is destroyed, it will curse everything in your inventory and everything on the level it is destroyed on. This can be used very effectively in multiplayer to get a lot of God Cursed items. This altar is known as the Deranged. He will accept anything, even arrows, as payment. In return, he will pay out with armor, weapons, and potions. He also has a chance of dropping Chaos Scrolls in a stack of 3 to 5. These will imitate the Chaos Wand, and an even smaller chance to drop the Blink Dagger. This dagger teleports an enemy when you attack them. It also deals negative 1 to 7 damage. Have fun with that. Some of his other payouts are giving you potion buffs and debuffs, along with catching you on fire, tossing you, taking health from you, teleporting you 1 to 5 times, or launching spirits at you. If you decide to break the deranged, the message will appear above his head, and he'll do some nasty stuff to you. In this video, he gives me berserk, catches me on fire, and teleports me 3 times. Now on to the smith. To gain favor, give him armor and weapons. In return, he will give you armors and weapons. Giving him one to four items will gain you a gift. When the smith has been given enough hammers, maces, and clubs, the text Behold will be above the altar, which means you have got the God Hammer, which is a lightning hammer that is rarely dropped by the smith and is quite strong. Destroying the smith will result in a bunch of arrows flying at you, causing a great amount of damage. Thanks everybody for staying till the end. If you learned anything new, please leave a like. And if you found this informational and you, you liked it and you want to see more, shoot us a subscribe. Yeah, because more will be coming. Have a good time swinging with the shrines.